And the title of this mini podcast is, I don't want to be, here's something I sincerely believe. People who claim they don't want are not willing to go to work on what's necessary to get what they do want. Let's take an extreme example to illustrate the point. People faced with a live or die choice due to years of debilitating habits, they utter, I don't want to die. It may only be semantics, but I think the person who says, I want to live, is more apt to do all that's necessary to save their life. Stating what you don't want is not a catalyst. It's like trying to hit a bullseye in the dark. Aiming for what you do want is a more target-rich environment. Nowhere is this more evident than in the area of weight loss. Better than 90% of the people who lose weight put it all back on, and then some. I don't want to be fat is their motivation to go on a diet and exercise more. Their success is short-lived because commitment is temporary. A diet and exercise choice can't be temporary. It has to become a way of life to achieve long-term, lasting success. Otherwise, those pounds that fell by the wayside will return to your backside. I want to be trim and healthy is a more specific target and easier to hit especially when you commit to do what's necessary and do it with regularity. People who do want something aren't waiting for something or someone else to do it for them. They're not looking for a magic pill or potion or a savior because they finally come to the realization that the only person who's going to save them is them. Don't want people endlessly play the helpless card and are unwilling to help themselves. They constantly expect someone or something else to save the day, but in the end, it's their don't want to which they fall prey. All the best, John.